Hey, that's me. Hi, my name is Dylan Meyer. Trout fishing is very important to me. At a young age, my grandfather taught me how to trout fish and it is one of my closest held hobbies and passions. It is the best way for me to feel connected with nature and to show appreciation for one of our native species in California. Trout and salmon are very interconnected. And in order to protect the trout, we also need to protect populations of salmon to provide resilience for the future so that individuals like myself can continue to enjoy their hobbies and passions. Here I am at the Deer Creek Salmon Ladder, used to transport salmon who have been migrating these waters for centuries. And because of a big waterfall behind this rock that you can't see, well, the salmon aren't able to travel past that point any longer. So they have to build this so that they can get through or get up. Uh, it's real fascinating that any salmon even make it up this far because of uh, the amount of distance they have to travel to get here and really their chances of surviving their, their travel. It's miraculous. It's unfortunate that the salmon are so endangered that we need to build structures like this for in order to, to increase their survival rates um, just because of everything that we do that affects the environment and makes the odds for them that much lower. Salmon play a key role in the ecosystem. They act as a natural water pump from oceans to rivers by circulating nutrients from one point to the other. When young, they feed largely on insects and amphipods, but as they grow, they feed on other fish such as squid, sand lance, and herring. Salmon provide the necessary ingredients for healthy, functional floodplains and wetlands, abundant fish populations, and clean water. Decline in the salmon population will dismember the food chain and the species that they eat will grow to be overabundant and salmon predators will diminish. Continuation of this food and water cycle is critical for the environment's balance. Salmon depend on clean, cold water. But as temperatures rise from climate change, the waters will become too warm or even dry up completely. Irrigation of crops pumps huge amounts of waters from rivers which also contributes to lower water levels and can disrupt salmon migration patterns. Agriculture also is a huge pollutant, contaminating water from eroded sediments and chemicals. Water infrastructure, such as dams, culverts, and floodgates, can result in migration passage barriers, water quality impairments, loss of habitat, and hydrological changes. To protect the Chinook salmon and extend their timeline to extinction, it is important that proper agricultural chemical usage and runoff quality measures are taken so that the water and ecosystems can grow to be healthier habitats and water supplies. Dams that are blocking salmon runs should be redesigned to accommodate the salmon routes. Other solutions include restoring riverside floodplains and coastal marshes where young fish find abundant food. Focusing conservations on streams that originate from mountain springs that will likely remain cold even with global rising temperatures will ensure that there are places for salmon to spawn in the future. We should protect the most productive river ecosystems remaining in California, such as the Smith and Eel Rivers, which have the capacity to support diversity and abundance because they retain high quality habitat and are not heavily influenced by hatcheries. So what can you do to help? Help protect trees and native vegetation along shorelines in your community. These keep the water cool and help stabilize the banks from erosion. Help protect natural shorelines, wetlands, and floodplains in your community. These habitats are extremely valuable to both salmon and people. Keep litter and trash out of streams. Look for sustainably harvested salmon when shopping for food or eating out. Look for stream, restoration projects, and opportunities. Get to know your local watershed group and volunteer to get involved. There are a lot of issues in today's world to be distracted with, but protecting the environment and supporting its growth and prosperity is most crucial for the survival of mankind and for most of the ecosystem.